we begin as we always do with deep breaths to calm the mind, to soothe the soul, to lower the blood pressure, and to find center again. Inhale and exhale. Inhale through your nose if possible. Exhale fully through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, letting your belly, lungs, ribs expand. And exhale, gently pulling in your belly button. Now, breathe normally and let your mind focus on my voice. If the mind wanders, do not scold it. Just gently bring your attention back to the guided meditation when you are able. We contemplate now making a gift of failure. No one wants to fail, but failure is an important part of how we learn and how we grow. As the saying goes, we literally grow through what we go through. Mistakes are inevitable. Instead of looking at them as a negative, can you invite the inner critic to quiet so you can allow the natural observer to just notice? When you make a mistake or bump into misfortune, can you shift your mind's eye to observance mode? What went wrong? What did you notice? Was there anything positive about making that mistake? What would you choose to do next time that is a little different that could bring a preferred result? You could even thank the mistake for the lesson it provided. Most competitive sports are a result of failure Failure to complete a pass. Failure to kick a goal. Failure to block a shot. Failure is what allows for the next down to happen, the next completion. It provides the tension and excitement necessary for the competition to come to completion. Mistakes or misunderstandings give space for better understanding. Misinterpretation gives space for another interpretation. Mistakes, missed, takes, permit another take, another chance. The only negative of a mistake is if we do not take the lesson, if we give up and don't try again. Acknowledging mistakes as part of education, as part of the game of life, leads to resilience and the ability to get back up after a setback. It's time to get comfortable with mistakes. Be willing to throw up your hand and risk an incorrect answer. An unwillingness or an inability to be wrong means that there is only value in perfection. And we all know perfection is a false god and a stupid pursuit. Make mistakes. 
be willing to be wrong. This shows character. So show your strength and your resilience and a curiosity and a strength of spirit that is much more reliable than only being willing to play the game if you know you can win. Only putting up your hand and volunteering when you know the outcome. Sometimes the most marvelous conversations happen from an incorrect answer and a refining of the original question. Listen to a fascinating jazz composition. Sometimes it sounds like a lot of wrong notes, but strung together, dissonance and an unexpected non-melodic note out of the expected scale can make a piece of music a masterpiece. Learning to improvise or scat requires a lot of mistakes until you find the mistakes that you like the most and that becomes a cool lick of jazz. Welcome mistakes into your repertoire. Usher them into your heart and let them flutter there. Thank the mistakes for the lessons they provide and forgive yourself for not being perfect because perfection is for God or the universe and Mary Poppins. And she's only practically perfect. Shoot for goodish. You can deliver on goodish every single day. It allows for some mistakes, but it also allows you to bump into great. And maybe even on the wildest of occasions, a little brush with perfection. If I had guessed right the first time, I would never have learned resilience. Failure in this light is a gift. And now, as you return to the world, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Be well.